I got Mega Man t-shirt. If they pick Cassidy, I'm not dodging. I'm just gonna gracefully lose the game. Oh my god, we got a victor matchup. I'm so happy now. This, 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 this. Beautiful. We can play the game, guys. Supports have grown insane ego when it comes to holding last pick. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't really blame support players if they want last pick, honestly. I blame ADC and junglers. ADC and junglers are the easiest roles to blind in League of Legends. But to be honest, Ranger, the amount of times my support took last pick and then he manages to lock in like Nautilus or Alistar or something on R5, like, uh, I can't. Like, if you take last pick as support, at least pick something spicy. Well, uh, is this game playable for me? Um, I would say it's not the best Vagar game. Looking at enemy team comp, well, Victor, you can't really do much to him unless he's like really bad. Into Lee Sin, Vagar is very, very bad because Lee Sin is too mobile as a champion. Into Jinx, also quite bad because her rocket range is really big. Into Aatrox, Vagar is actually fine in my opinion. Into Fresh, it, it can be okay, but it can also be bad because his hook kind of matches your range mostly. And his lantern is a really big counter to you. Unless you can kill someone first, they can he can quickly throw a lantern and, and help people escape. But yeah, the worst champion to play against here is definitely Leeson. Like, Vagar has legit no counterplay to Lee, if the Lee player is good. Like, there's no counterplay to that champion. Ooh, I think my Jarwin is getting caught here. He said, I'm a flip level one. It's what I do. Okay, Jarwin, well, I'm streaming, so... Well, we have a Janna advantage. We're gonna win this. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Fight, fight, fight! Fight! Kill this guy too! He's gonna flash. Maybe he fairy flashes though. Okay, well I have to pop a potion. Victor most likely got XP here, right? He probably got XP of the minions and I didn't. But that's really good. Flash this guy. I feel a bit bad for my ADC as my ADC will get zoned. Victor started E. I don't really recommend doing that. E of Victor level 1 does not do a lot of damage. Even though it's landable, it has higher cooldown than Q and costs more mana. I think Q start is much, much better. But yeah, we're gonna get bullet uh, off this lane pretty quickly this game. And we're gonna need to base the P early because he's just gonna outpoke me till I'm way too low. Nice. Um, do I do a cage? Is my jungler gonna gank him? Or do I do a point into Q? He's looking to gank, I think. I'm gonna do a point in cage in case he wants to. Yeah, he doesn't want to. Damn. I wish I had a Q point now. I didn't realize Jarvan is that low. I'm also getting kind of low now. I could get Dove here, definitely. I'm gonna walk right here next to this wall and channel a base. Ideally, I would want to stay here, but I'm in a big threat of getting Dove. I'm in a big threat, so we're gonna base and just grab a safe base with a tier. Job is to just keep stacking. Janna is roaming already. Okay. Poor Tristana. Oh no. If I go bot, can I even do anything? Oh uh, no, I can't. I'm just gonna go here and collect the wave. That's all I can do. Really unfortunate for our Tristana. Our Jen is roaming a lot and now he's just getting dove already. Our Tristana definitely, like I feel bad for players like this because she hasn't done really anything wrong. But because of our decision to, you know, play for top side of the map a lot, she's just falling behind really hard. The best you can do in a position like this is to just not tilt. Just hope your teammates can carry you. They need to, right? They put you into a position where you go behind. Level 6, I'm immediately gonna swap into Spellbook. I mean, minute 6, not level 6. Now I'm gonna hold the wave like this. Nice, not bad. Good luck to look to poke this guy out slowly. Maybe I can look for solo kill. I'm alive, but... Just 
on the, the same timing where I'm looking to play aggressively and try to make this guy be close to lethal range, the listen is mid. That's very unfortunate. Sometimes it is like this. So Victor doesn't push the cannon wave very fast because he used ult already. So I need to take a base here because if I stay, I'm again in trouble of getting dove. I need to base. We're gonna go straight for Shiralia. Okay, what's going on here? Uh, that doesn't look too good if I'm being honest. I mean, if he escapes, it's fine. Well, I'm getting higher and higher levels, so now my Q is becoming much stronger and less cooldown, so I can bathe their better. Need to be careful, I have no flash because Lisa burned it earlier. I cannot play too aggressive, even if it's tempting. Where did Victor go? I guess he went to base or something. Well, I think I might have to match the base then. Yeah, he got boots, that's gonna be harder to cage him now. But I'm gonna buy some MS. And I guess haste, why not? It's a very slow game right now, and that's fine. I'm bigger, I like slow games. He has flash. KG, ult him? No ult? I guess Trash Lantern, Trash with Lantern. It's good that he didn't ult. Trash was right behind him and he would Lantern him. Kinda need to ward, but there's a ward here and if I walk up here, I'm gonna know I ward it. So, maybe I should ward topside? Ooh, what's going on here? I should... Kill the Aatrox! Nice. Okay, um, I do need to use Ignite there because now I have TP up, right? I cannot be holding Ignite the entire time. Like at some point you need to use the summoner spell because now I have unleashed TP and it's actually more more, than, more like value than Ignite. You gotta, you gotta be careful because Victor could unleash TP button here because they're really fighting hard. I need to definitely match TP in case he does that. Uh... I'm tipping. I kind of pushed the wave as much as I could. Care now, Victor has TP advantage. Uh, how much do I need? Oh, I have it. Nice. At least I got perfect gold for this. Victor has TP advantage. Now it's like a four minute window time where Victor could make a play. He's not very strong right now, but once he bases and gets more AP, he's gonna be much stronger. Okay. I just rally here to cancel his base. We're playing way too aggressively, but they're gonna all commit bot. I will not follow on this because I know it's a lost play. Even if I don't cancel his TP, he will die to listen, so it's actually better to not cancel his TP there. And I'm just gonna try to get one plate mid. I have five grabs, I kill the plate really fast. Two auto attacks and it's gone. I should be fine. Flash, uh, flash trash. That's why Lee Sin is such a big counter to Vagar. He holds, he can just land Q on you and then hold it until the cage disappears. I'm making a play bottom. Victor has no flash, I believe. I think he just dies. He does, yeah, he doesn't do enough damage. Poor Victor, you know what I mean? Poor Victor there. Okay, 10 seconds for Shiralia. We can definitely look for a fight. We have number advantage, but... Beautiful, beautiful. Really nice synergy with Janna. She does Q when my W is coming down and it's just easy kill. Yeah, maybe I can get another plate here. Let's see. We're doing Drake, so I need to immediately hover there if Listen appears there. I'm in a really good spot right now. Nice. Do I need to run bottom? I'm gonna hover, there might be a fight. Well, I have a pink here. They're probably not gonna expect me here. Don't, don't, don't. Victor is probably coming. Oh. I can't land my W. I think it's time to back. Got him. Careful. Oh. God damn it. Very little mana. I can get one more Q right now, and then I need to really back. I got TP. There's only one big problem here. I'm missing a hundred gold to an item. Uh, I need to stay. Chat, it's way too important to get double needlessly large out here. I need to stay a bit longer. 
I'm regenerating mana with mana flow. She's gonna insta push and I just catch, I guess. I do have almost full top. How many mana I need? I'm not sure how much I need. I got him. There we go. It's actually enough. It's so crazy how much damage Janna just did in a fight. Because, like, Janna just did half the damage. What the hell is supports these days? Oh, Trash is there. I'm kind of- I kind of suicided here, didn't I? Bad cage. Ah, the cage was really bad. Rusty Vega cage. A bit of a Rusty Vega cage. Chat, I might be in trouble. I'm gonna go for burst because I'm dead anyway. Okay, I got some spells off and it hits, so I got AP. Okay, well, we didn't respect the Victor TP behind us and Tristana was not there, so we shouldn't have gone there. That was not good. Uh, should I take Exhaust or Heal? You guys send me Team Comp? I actually probably prefer Heal here. 50 gold. Mm, do I wait 40 gold? No, I don't think it's worth. I'm just gonna sell. Now we're gonna go Cribloom. This is like the most standard Vega build you can do right now. You go Cribloom to do tons of damage and then you need to buy defensiveness. Okay. What? Give me blue. Okay, nice. Always stack everything. I wanna fight the Dragon. I need to be very careful how I approach Dragon fight because enemy team comp, like Lee Sin Kick will kill me, Trash Hook will kill me. There's, they have a lot of tools that I can die to. W gives you a little bit of vision, so you can actually face check bushes like this. Oh, we died to Jinx rocket. I want vision. You have anything? I want a Shirelli on my team. Wow, Shirelli's range of move speed is so massive. Thank you. Nice. I'm holding my wood, but Lisa should be somewhere behind me. Oh, this is beautiful. I love it when your teammates CC the enemy for you so you can just land W's and Q's. Oh, it feels so good. I thought Lisa would be behind us, but I think enemy Lee just gave up and went topside. I, I think. Okay. Let's quickly push out this bot wave and maybe get a tower while we're at it. My W does already very big damage. Could kill this guy. Uh, damn it. Alright, well, it's fine to greet, but I lost flash for no kill, which is really bad. I need a little bit more money. I definitely want the creep bloom. I think my W is one-shotting melee minions already. So now it's kind of ruining my farm, but such is life. Uh, oh, where are you going? He flashed into cage. Uh, I need to base here, I'm gonna get Cribloom. I might TP somewhere, but top is not it. I'm just gonna TP bot and pressure. My, so AP champions, especially Vega, when they, you get high amounts of AP, you actually just kill the tower really fast. You can see right here. How much damage I did to tower. It's because AP damage to the tower is a bit overtuned in my opinion. I need to swap before I keep hitting the exhaust. my W damage. Cool. I should run. I'm really, really, really playing with fire here. Trying to greet these raptors. They're not very important. Now the question is like, what do we buy? Deadman's plate is kind of fire here, I think. It also finished Sarah, but I'm kind of feeling a Deadman's plate angle. Not finishing tier. You don't have to necessarily finish tier, it depends. We got the global AoE blue buff now. I think our Cassandra might die. And no one is bot defending this. 
Okay, I'll just stun him, but... Wearing a huge shutdown right now and I have no flash, so I have to play careful. I cannot greet for plays. I should not be the playmaker, my teammates need to be the playmaker for me, and I need to be follow up on their plays. I need to clear these wards, it's very important for us to get some barroom vision. We're gonna give them an objective bounty on top, and Tristana can meanwhile solo the Drake. I think this is pretty decent macro considering it's a solo key game. I'm very close to Dadman's plate. I don't think we're gonna do anything right now. I wanna form this top wave. You always wanna check bushes like this with Vega in case enemy is making some cheesy play on you. I don't have TP because I'm holding exhaust. And I don't think I can swap the flash, so now I'm kinda stuck with Spellbook. And the fact that I can't swap anything with Spellbook is a bit of a BG. Now I have a lot of move speed with Dadman's and I am definitely way more mobile. I can maybe look for aggressive plays since I have flash as well. I have to cage to make uh, Cassandra not be damaged. Uh, I don't know how to feel about this. I should have swapped to Smite if we want to do Baron. I don't think it's a bad decision, but Lee can still so easily here. Guys, that Kriblum should heal my team. I'll... Okay, it's really hard to use my exhaust. Flash again. I burned so many flashes right now. So many flashes are burned. Okay, lucky for me, I'm a bit tanky with Edmonds, so Jinx can kill me in two autos. Alright, I guess that's enough. Uh, I'm just gonna do Elixir. Okay, not bad. I say Flash, they burned every Flash. Next fight, I can look for aggressive play with Flashy or something like that, and they're just all gonna die. We could just wait for Soul, so we don't risk the game. Um, I'm saving TP for now. Okay, gonna push mid, so we have multiple lanes pushed. Okay, well, I think now we won the game. Remember, Victor and Jinx don't have flash. I could just look to flash cage. But it's not necessary, most likely. <laughs> there we go. We got a win. Would I say the city boots are core in this Vega build, or can they be replaced? They can be replaced for swords, but then you're just playing with less haste. Vega is very haste reliant, but yeah, it is possible that you go swords. Swords gives you just way better burst. On majority of champions in league right now, sword boots are higher win rate than in the city. A lot of uh, mage champions are more burst heavy than anything else. You can see, like, you cannot do... You cannot, like, like, Vega, even though I'm super head, like, I'm 8-0, right? And I still am so reliant on my teammates creating space for me and making plays for me because, like, my champion can get caught so easily. I make one tiny misstep, lead us Q, Warthog, Flash, Jump, anything. I get kicked or any other champion does anything and I can just die.